what we've learned as time has gone on, this morning the call originally came in as a domestic disturbance um, that involved a man and two other people, and he had essentially assaulted both of these people. And he got into a vehicle with one of the um, people that were calling a victim and led law enforcement officers essentially on a high-speed pursuit throughout downtown Missoula, West Missoula, and he refused to stop or comply with law enforcement officers to have a traffic stop. So they tried to stop this individual in front of Safeway on West Broadway. Again, he refused to comply and sped off again, leading law enforcement officers to the on-ramp at North Reserve Street and West Broadway. He was in the wrong direction of travel, and there was one officer on scene, and he was using lethal force on this person inside of his vehicle, essentially treating her like a hostage, and was not complying with officers' directions to let go of her and release her, and eventually um, lethal force had to be used against him. So he died at the scene, and the scene was then closed and secured. The victim was taken to safety, and she was okay. The scene was then closed and secured for quite a long time until, for several reasons, we had to wait for a civilian coroner to come from an adjacent county. We contacted Sanders County, and they sent a civilian coroner up to investigate this officer-involved shooting. And second of all, Sheriff Ipsen thought it was important that the investigation was done and the crime scene was canvassed under daylight hours because it was pitch black. It was you know, 10 degrees below, 12 degrees below, and really difficult to, it's difficult to assess a crime scene in that situation. So he wanted to wait for the sun to come up. So uh, Montana Highway Patrol, Missoula City Police Department, they offered resources to the Missoula County Sheriff's Office, um, and we are beginning our investigation now involved in the officer-involved shooting. Now, Paige, when you, when you mentioned that the, the suspect who was killed was using lethal force on the female inside the car, did he have a weapon? Was he using his fists, or is that something that you can tell us more about? I can't tell you more about that. He did not, um, he was not using a weapon against her, to my knowledge. He was strang um, strangling her, and um, he would not stop. And strangling somebody is considered lethal force. You can, you can kill somebody if you try to strangle them. And he was doing this to this woman, and she was being treated as a hostage. She couldn't get away from the person. In addition to that, he posed a very serious threat, driving at these high rates of speed when the roads have been a sheet of ice, um, leading putting all of the officers involved in danger, trying to pursue him, putting himself and the person, his passenger of the vehicle in danger. Um, so uh, we're glad that no officers were injured during this incident. It's unfortunate any time that lethal force has to be deployed on any human being. And I know it's really hard for the officers to deal with, and it's just a really complex issue to get through for everybody involved. So um, we're just going to have to wait now and see what the investigation determined from here on out. Now, was he shot while he was inside the vehicle or was he outside the vehicle? That hasn't been determined yet. Okay. And that information hasn't been released yet to me. Sure. Okay. Oh. And so at, at what point do you think that uh, the investigation will be far enough along to release uh, the name of the victim and the name of the officer involved? So it's going to take all of the reports of officers who were involved in the Missoula City Police Department to complete their reports, including all the reports done by our um, investigators here at the Missoula County Sheriff's Office. So essentially it's just waiting on everybody to get all their information compiled, looking at all of it um, from, you know, the, the mile-high view, and then when there's more information determined, it'll be released to the public at that time.